Hey everyone, KTVU anchor Frank Somerville was suspended Friday, allegedly because he wanted to make social media comments regarding racist coverage of the Gabby Petito case. And he told this to blogger Richard Lieberman, and I echoed that news here. But this wasn't the first time that Frank was suspended. In fact, you will hear constant references to, again, on KTVU Fox 2. Things should be heating up. We could see a 30 degree swing in just two days. And, so and you can hear it in his voice. Frank was slurring, and this was June 1st, 2001. KTVU's Frank Summerall off air after slurring speech during newscast. It was not an easy broadcast to watch. Violent assault happened in San Francisco in the Chinatown area near a wit near Clay and Kearney where last Friday night and today outside outside any door you know it's feeling like summer this three-day delay weekend in May good evening I'm Frank Somerville and I'm Julie Hayner tomorrow will be even hotter at times it looked like Frank was just absolutely struggling through it Chinatown area near a wit near Clay and Kearney where last Friday night KTV's Asa Smith is here now after talking to Wit. Also, I really questioned whether this whole suspension was over Samuel wanting to criticize coverage regarding Gabby Petito because of race. It doesn't make any sense considering that, well, it's actually kind of a story that would generate views, why would anybody do that? And why would anyone discourage someone from mentioning it on social media? That can't be the only story. And so I went to the man who actually broke the story, not the Mercury News and not SF Gate, Richard Lieberman. Uh, and he has this update, Frank Sumrall and KTBU headed for divorce. First things first, I'm not breaking anything here, but we'll try to give you the inside scoop. And he says, I believe Frank Somerville is done at KTVU. I think it would be damn near impossible for him and likewise they at Fox 2 to be able to work without the obvious obstacles that exist. I believe a divorce is about to take place. And I think even if Frank were to return to KTVU, it would just be trivial because my gut is the divorce is imminent. And then he reads, writes rather, be wary of what you read from the other so-called mainstream media like this, like the Chronicle or St. Mercury News who continue to steal from me on this story. Yeah, they didn't credit him and others, but on this, they not only steal, they don't even credit where they get their sources. But I digress. I've talked to the central character in this story and I told him, I don't think he can continue to work at KTV. He's talking about Frank Somerville. I think the news director, Amber Eichel, has lost the station. Never mind the issue as to why Somerville was suspended and probably done at two. That's really not the story here. It's an editorial decision that, at its worst, would be a disagreement and handled inside the company. That it got to be an employee suspension is just the recipe for a more direct move. Yes, a divorce. An agreement that both parties agree to move forward because both parties cannot coexist. It's over, folks to be continued. So um, that's the story there. And again, Rich doesn't isn't buying that whole story on itself. I think there's something more to this. But again, remember, these organizations don't credit, uh, the Chronicle and the Mercury News don't credit, and they do steal from bloggers consistently. So Rich Lieberman's blog is, if you type 415 Media in Google, it'll pop up number one. He's at richlieberman dot, Rich Lieberman report, excuse me, dot blogspot dot com. Of course, I'm oaklandnewsnow.com and sister blog, oaklandnewsonline.com, as well as Oakland Focus, oaklandfocus.blogspot.com. So I have two WordPress blogs and a blogger blog that are focused to a degree on Oakland, some more than others. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.